Hi, I am JP from the AutoCAD Mechanical team here at Autodesk. In this video, I want to walk you through some of the new things we have added to AutoCAD Mechanical 2012. We have made it easy for you to learn how to use AutoCAD Mechanical. We have added six getting started videos that explore some of the more popular features of AutoCAD Mechanical. Next, let me show you what we have done to the geometric dimensioning and tolerancing symbols. Notice that the revision of the standards are as recent as 2008. With the functionality that we built in to support the new revision, we are no longer restricted to specifying tolerances on an edge in a side view. I can now specify tolerances on a top view as well. During creation, I use this new command line option to add surface indication lines to the symbol. The datum identifier also supports the same functionality. This is the side view and this is the top view. In the bottom view, the datum is obsecured. So the line type of the surface indication line is different to that of the top view. Let me double click the symbol to show you the properties. This is the option I selected to change the line type of the surface indication leader. Did you notice these text boxes here? They are new too. This box lets me specify datum nodes. So if there is a need, I can indicate multiple reference points on the surface. This box lets me specify thread nodes. Let's move on to welding symbols. Let me double click this symbol to show you what we have done to the welding symbol. Look at the symbol revision date. We are as current as 2009. The basic processes are listed here and they can be sorted by just clicking the column header. Additionally, we have separate tabs for the process variants. You can simply insert the process or prefix it with the standard or insert it as a hybrid well. The drafting standard decides what to use for the hybrid well separator. Let's move on. If you can remember, a few releases ago, we introduced a set of bomb migration tools that migrated drawings with manually drawn parts lists to drawings that contained AutoCAD mechanical parts lists. Additionally, if the drawing was part of a drawing project, the bomb migration wizard was able to build the component hierarchy. The bomb migration tools made use of a typical drawing to extract information from the drawing project. This made it mandatory for all drawings in the project to have the same format as the typical drawing. The bomb migration tools were not able to handle scenarios where part drawings had title blocks that were different to those of assembly drawings. I can now specify multiple typical drawings because the bomb migration wizard is able to pick more than one extraction template per drawing project. In this example, this is my assembly extraction template. And this is my part extraction template. I must also mention that the new extraction template wizard lets me do things much faster. For example, this button spares me from having to manually map each text object to a component property. We have also created several videos that walk you through the migration process one step at a time. While on the subject of videos, Take a look at this video as well. I'm sure you will find features like model documentation, fusion, associative arrays, and content explorer very interesting. And I will sign off hoping that you will find AutoCAD Mechanical 2012 a great product to work with.